So friends, what do you say? Are we in a New York state of mind? Might New York be the first jurisdiction to take Donald Trump to trial for just some of his crimes? We're about to find out. Let's talk about that because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So friends, this Thursday, Donald Trump is headed back to court in one of his criminal cases. This is the one in New York where he is indicted on 36 felony counts for falsifying business records. Or maybe you've heard this one referred to as the hush money payments case. Or maybe you've heard it referred to, and this is what I think is actually most accurate, as his election interference case in 2016, when he, in a very real sense, interfered in the election. How? He made hush money payments to playmates and porn stars to bury deeply damaging information about his suitability to be president, thereby robbing the American voters of the full value of our vote. So this is an election interference case. It's a hush money payment case. And yes, it is a falsifying business records case. And friends, I know it feels like Donald Trump has been playing musical chairs with his criminal cases for so long now, but the music will stop and Donald Trump will be convicted in one of his cases. Actually, Donald Trump will be convicted in more than one of his criminal cases. As always, let's start with the new reporting. This from the AP about Donald Trump's court hearing in New York this Thursday. Headline, what's at stake in Trump's hush money criminal case? Judge to rule on key issues as trial date nears. And that article begins, former President Donald Trump is expected in court Thursday for an important hearing in his New York hush money criminal case, which now appears increasingly likely to go to trial next month. Judge Juan Manuel Mershon is set to rule on key pretrial issues and say for certain if the trial will begin as scheduled on March 25th. If that happens, the New York case will be the first of Trump's four criminal indictments to go to trial. Trump's lawyers have asked Mershon to dismiss the case entirely. The judge's recent activities suggest that's unlikely to happen. In recent weeks, court records show Mershon has been communicating with defense lawyers and Manhattan prosecutors to plan jury selection for a March trial. Trump's New York case involves an alleged scheme to prevent potentially damaging stories about his personal life from becoming public during his 2016 presidential campaign. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg charged Trump last year with falsifying internal records kept by his company, the Trump Organization, to hide the true nature of payments made to his then lawyer, Michael Cohen, for helping bury stories alleging Trump had extramarital sexual encounters. The case centers on payoffs to two women, porn actor Stormy Daniels and former Playboy model Karen McDougal, as well as to a Trump Tower doorman who claimed to have a story about Trump having a child out of wedlock. Trump says he didn't have any of the alleged sexual encounters. Cohen paid Daniels $130,000 and arranged for the publisher of the National Enquirer supermarket tabloid to pay McDougal $150,000 in a practice known as catch and kill. The Trump organization then reimbursed Cohen at an amount far more than what he'd spent, prosecutors said. The company logged the payments, delivered in monthly installments and a year-end bonus check as legal expenses, prosecutors said. Over several months, Cohen said he got $420,000. 
The records at issue include general ledger entries, invoices, and checks that prosecutors say were falsified. And let me add to that, there's also an audio recording between Michael Cohen and Donald Trump setting up this illegal payment scheme. The article continues, Trump is charged with 34 counts of falsifying business records. The charge is a Class E felony in New York. It's punishable by up to four years in prison, though there is no guarantee that a conviction would result in jail time. Because it's a state case, Trump would not be able to pardon himself if he were to become president again. Presidential pardons only apply to federal crimes. So friends, a few thoughts about Donald Trump's prosecution up in New York. First of all, let me correct the record, because as I was reading that new AP reporting, I was reminded that Donald Trump is indicted on 34 felony counts of falsifying business records. I mistakenly said he was indicted on three dozen counts. I don't want the record to go uncorrected. It's only 34 felony counts that Donald Trump is facing. So there's a certain symmetry there, friends, because remember this case, the New York hush money case, that was the first time a former president of the United States had ever been criminally indicted. And now it looks like this one might also be the first case to go to trial if that March 25 trial date holds. And let me tell you, I'm sure that Donald Trump's defense attorneys are going to be in that courtroom on Thursday coming up with all kinds of reasons why they want Judge Marchand to cancel, to postpone, to continue until a later date Donald Trump's March 25th trial. You know, I'm sure they'll be asking the judge to, you know, set this out until 2025 or 2026 or really any time after the November 2024 presidential election. And let's hope Judge Mershon holds fast. And friends, you know what my favorite part of that AP reporting is? It's that the judge, Judge Mershon, has been talking with the parties, the prosecutors, District Attorney Alvin Bragg's prosecutors at the Manhattan DA's office and Donald Trump's criminal defense attorneys. He's been communicating with the parties about the procedures he will employ during jury selection. That signals that Judge Mershon is intending this case to proceed to jury selection on March 25th. That's a good sign. So as we wait to see what the Supreme Court will do with Donald Trump's absurd absolute immunity claim such that the D.C. federal prosecution for Trump trying to overturn the 2020 presidential election results can get a firm trial date set. And while we continue to watch to see what's going on down in Florida in Donald Trump's other federal felony prosecution, that one for unlawfully retaining classified information, for obstructing justice by violating a grand jury subpoena for the return of the classified documents and for a violation of our nation's espionage laws. We will wait to see if Judge Cannon keeps the May 20th trial date firmly in place or decides to do yet another favor, though, for Donald Trump and kick that trial date down the road. And as we watch Georgia, and we see the Fawny Willis issue play out, and we await a firm trial date in Donald Trump's RICO case down in Georgia, we will remain in a New York state of mind. We'll see what happens on Thursday in that courtroom in Manhattan. And let's hope that the result of that hearing is that Judge Mershon holds firm to the March 25th trial date and we finally see the first criminal prosecution, the first trial of a former president of the United States for the crimes he committed. And after that hearing on Thursday, we will be right back here 
doing a video, recapping and updating you with respect to what went on at that hearing in that courtroom in New York. And let's hope, let's hope what we'll be discussing is the March 25th trial date, which will begin with jury selection. Because, you know, justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.